If you want to learn how to flip reset fast, you came to the right video because in this one, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to flip reset start to finish in under six minutes. I'll be covering all the most important steps of the flip reset with the most common mistakes. So if you can watch to the end, I guarantee you'll have everything you need to land your first flip reset by the end of the video. If you're new here and you don't know me, welcome. My name's Luke. I'm a top 0.1% with over 3K in-game hours and even more coaching. But what I'm mainly known for is running Rocket League's number one live coaching program called the Grand Champ Roadmap. Inside the program, we specialize in taking gold through champ rank players like you watching up to Grand Champ in just six weeks time. And at the time this video goes live, we'll have less than 48 hours of enrollment for our upcoming season. If you didn't catch it, we sold out 100 of 100 seats early, but since my team and I have so many DMs that we still haven't been able to get back to, we're doing a one-time 48-hour extension from the time this video drops. So if you're on the hunt for that GC title and you want to get it before we sell out and close our doors until May, DM me with the keyword now, and I'll make sure to get back to you before we shut down. All my Discord first link down below, and the timer for learning flip resets starts now. Okay, so jumping into how to flip reset, we're going to break this up into three steps. But before we do that, for step zero, I'm going to have you open up training and go to the default pro aerial pack. Now, the reason we're starting out here instead of in free play is because this is my sort of flip reset test. What I want you to do in this pack is practice jumping up and trying to reach this ball midair while flying without even going for the reset or anything like that. If you cannot fly upside down and connect with every single one of these shots, you're actually not ready to learn how to flip reset. The truth is, guys, flip resets require significantly more aerial car control than just normal aerials. And so if you can't consistently finish this pack while flying upside down, you first have to learn the basics of air roll and aerial car control. I actually just dropped a video answering all your most common air roll questions on stream. So if that's you and you can't complete the pack, go watch that video, then come back here once you're good. And we can talk about how to actually flip reset. All right, moving into the actual steps, we have three steps for the flip reset. Step number one, the setup. Up. Step number two, the actual reset. And step number three, the finish. We're going to start in free play for each one and break down the do's and don'ts to get you hitting these as fast as possible. The reason we're starting in free play and not training packs is because if you try to learn the flip reset in training packs, yes, you'll learn it faster to start out. But when you actually try to transition it into your in-game play, you're going to struggle. Once you're in free play, step number one with the setup is we want to aim to connect with the ball just half a hexagon up the wall. If you've never noticed before, if you open up Utopia Coliseum, you'll see these hexagons etched onto the wall. And we want to roll the ball up the wall with such a speed that we can connect with it right as the ball is crossing half of a hexagon. If we connect with the ball any sooner, we won't get enough pop into the air. And if we connect with it later, we may hit the ball too far off the wall and we won't actually be able to follow it up on track with the net. Once you get that height down, step number two is you want to get just about one car length of space between yourself and the ball before running up the wall and making your first touch. The reason for this and the most common mistake people get into when starting these setups is simply staying glued to the ball the entire time and driving through it up the wall. If you do this, you won't actually create any separation between the ball and the wall and you won't be on track for a good setup. The last thing you're going to want to do for the setup is actually first something I heard from the coach Verge called the pop and stop. Basically, right before you make this pop off the wall, you want to just momentarily hit your brakes before connecting with the ball. This way, when you jump off the wall to chase after the ball, you'll have separation rather than being glued right next to it and already being stuck to the ball like on an air dribble setup. So to recap, drive through it at about midfield, create one car length of space between you and the wall, connect with it at half a hexagon, and then hit those brakes before jumping off and flying at the ball. Step number two, the reset. If you watch pro players or high level players reset, you may notice them air rolling or tornado spinning a ton before they get it. But if you're just getting into resets, this is actually not what we want to do. Instead, if you're just first learning the reset, I want you to practice rolling your car over immediately. That way you can fly at the ball upside down and you don't have to air roll before the reset. Yes, this will make it more obvious that you're going for the reset, but first we need to learn how to get it. Then we can make it look good. If you're setting up off of the left wall, you're 
You're going to have to air roll slightly to the right to get your car upside down and in line with the ball. While you're doing this air roll adjustment, we want to make sure we're not doing what's called boosting through the adjustment. This is one of the most common mistakes you can make, especially if you're newer to flip resetting. But what will happen if you boost through the air roll adjustment immediately is you'll end up too high above the ball and you'll have to fly back down to get your reset. So instead, we want to simply air roll opposite the wall we're on and not boost through the adjustment. Finally, once you get your car in line, you're going to want to boost as fast as possible up and through the ball. Then at the last second, when you're half a car length away, pull down on your joystick as hard as you can to force your car into the ball and get the reset. This is the final and most critical point where most people make mistakes. The cue that I always tell people is you want to imagine that you're boosting through the ball and slapping your car onto it. What you absolutely don't want to do is just fly under the ball and sort of do this hover method, letting the ball fall back down onto you. The reason the hover method doesn't work is because one, you won't always be going fast enough to get the reset. And number two, even if you do somehow get it, you're not going to be in a good position to follow it up. When you instead fly through the ball and go out and actually grab that reset yourself, you're going to find that you can actually land it much more consistently and you'll be in a better position to score afterward. Finally, moving on to step number three, we have the finish or the shot. Depending on the angle that you set up your flip reset and the moment that you got it, the difficulty of how much you'll need to adjust to be in a position to actually shoot will vary. So the best tip that I could give to actually help you with the shot is simply to improve the setup and the moment when you get the flip reset. When you're starting, you want to follow these best practices to get a good shot. Number one, make sure you're not boosting through the reset. What I mean by this is when you pull down on your joystick and go for that slap into it, you want to make sure you let go a boost just before you connect with the ball. Number two, you want to make sure your setup is quick enough so that way you're connecting with the ball while it's traveling upwards because if you wait or it takes too long for you to get the reset until the ball's falling down, your car is going to be more likely to bounce off the ball instead of sticking to it after the reset. Finally, and last but not least, you want to make sure that you're connecting with the ball as straight on as possible. Yes, you can get a reset from attacking the ball from the side, but if you don't have the area car control to adjust after, it's going to make your follow-up really difficult. So focus on getting as textbook of a setup as possible. That way your follow-up will be easiest afterwards. So yeah, my time's nearly up, but if you watch to this point, stick with it and rep things out, and I guarantee you'll land your first reset in no time. Or if not, then you might just not be ready for the flip reset. So in that case, maybe check out my air dribble tutorial up there, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.